guys, so as you know, about a month ago, just over a month ago, I went to Belfast and these are basically all the things I brought back with me. So the first place I went to was the Titanic Museum. I think I went a bit oversport, overboard on the spending um, because I bought like one, 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 two, three. I actually bought four things there and it cost me £10. And one of those things I don't even have anymore. But anyway, first thing I got was this um, beer mat. Um, I thought it would like just look quite cool in our bar and our house and stuff. So I just got this. I think it was like two pound. When but beer mat ain't too bad. Um, next thing I got was this tote bag, which I don't remember how much it was because he was just like, "Oh, I got a tote bag." I think to tell. I was like, "Yeah," but they didn't tell me how much it was. And they didn't give me a receipt, which I found really weird. It's like, I can't even work out how much stuff was, because like I said. And there's like, no price on this thing. Like, there's literally no price of this. So yeah, um, this is the, um, tote bag I bought. It's a bit crazy because it's been under my bed. Where I keep all my tote bags. But it's just this cute little, um, tote bag. This is the Satanic Belfast 1912. So yeah, um, I think this was like £3.50 I believe. I think somewhere along that line. Just because of how things worked out. Um, another thing I got from there which I have is this little postcard. I think this postcard was 50 pence. And it's just this cute little like, of the Titanic Museum. I actually just bought it because of the purple like sunset in the background. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. Like I said, this was like 50 pence. And then I did also buy a thimble because my granddad collects them. But obviously he has it now, I don't have it. And once again, I can't remember how much that was. I think that was like three pound odd. Yeah, all right. I don't know how to work this out, but yeah, I know them four things were 10 pound. And then next thing I got, um, obviously went on the Game of Thrones store the next day. And, um, I went to um, Giant Scoresway and there they are like a um, kind of wasn't really a gift shop but it kind of was it was like really weird because obviously it's part of the Nationals Trust so it was like a National Trust gift shop more like um, so yeah I bought this hoodie I do love my hoodies as you know I always wear my hoodies um, I just think this is something like they are such a need and I've been wearing my Justin ones constantly to the point where my Justin ones are starting to go a bit funny, like the material starting to weigh down and they're not as soft as they used to be. So I'm like, right, I need to start wearing other hoodies now so they can have a break. Um, so I got this giant causeway one and it's just green. I don't have a green one so I thought it would be quite cute. So it's just like this. So yeah, quite simple, quite nice. I quite like it. I really like it. And I don't know, I just thought it was a really nice hoodie. And this was £20, which for a hoodie ain't too bad. That's about right how hoodies cost, really. So yeah, I bought that. And then also, I also bought another postcard. I don't know why I've just started around me buying postcards. There we are, and it's just a Northern Ireland one then. So that's like all like little, um, tourist like landmarks that's the word landmarks and on my back it has like the national trust logo which is what giant causeway is, is and it's up there if you can see oh. so yeah i bought that for now it was quite a nice one and that's what i bought from there and then i went to this um that's really what i bought on the Saturday and then on the third day is where I bought more stuff because we just had a free day basically and we chose to have a free day so first off we went to this little um just this little like shopping centre and they had this little um jewellery stand and I bought some earrings um the earrings were on offer and they were like originally like three pound a pair I think and then they had an offer for two for fibre and we were talking to the man who runs it, like runs his little store. He was like, oh, because it's your, our last, he was like, oh, because it's your last day, you can have three for fiver. So I got three pairs of earrings for fiver. And they came in this cute little bag. And the first pair I bought were these um, 
uh, purple ones because I don't really have purple studs. Like, I do have, but they're like way smaller and then nothing like this either. So, I thought just these cute little purple ones would do. Um, then I also got these small little pink ones. And they're just like this. These ones I have worn once. So, I bought them. And then I also got these um, big, um, just clear ones. I have ones like these. But she was like, you can never have like sim like enough simple ones again. Like I don't think I got all them this size either. So yeah, I really like them from this side. No, it's not gonna focus. No, it's not. So yeah, I got them. So I think three for a fiver is really good. So I don't really mind having like a few similar ones. So yeah. You know. Have I broke the bag? Have I broke the bag? No, I haven't. It's fine. Oh. So there's that and then um there was a pre-mark um so i bought some stuff i can never too far i bought some stuff so the first things i bought were these shorts i love these shorts and um, i these shorts have been in my quite a lot of my holes because i keep on buying different colors there's some i bought a blue pair these shorts are literally the comfiest things and these were £2.50 i do have more on these yet it's been a month but literally it's been terrible weather yeah, I bought these blue ones. These actually go in my blue vans as well. I think these are my blue vans. Um, some fishnet socks. Would be a cute little um, look. And I also bought these red ones. And these were more expensive. These were £4 instead of the blue ones, which were £2.50. And the reason why these were £4 is because these are like a proper Coca-Cola trademark ones, which I love. It's like a proper... Like, the tag and everything. So yeah, these were £4 in fund. But like I love them because like the red is super cute. The fact that Coca Cola is super cute as well. I also have a red Coca Cola top, so I think like that'd be a nice little like set together. But yeah, these are like so comfy just to wear around the house, especially when like it's really really warm and you don't want to be sitting in denim shorts. Having shorts like these are like a lifesaver and they're literally the comfiest things ever. Just to lounge around in. And then also in Primark I had this bag. So currently there's been like a phase of like clear bags. And I didn't particularly want to join in on our phase. When I saw this bag I was like, I kind of have to get it. And so it's this pink one. So it's all pink. And it's just clear. This is really, I actually really like it. I don't know why. And it's like, I don't know how I feel about having a clear bag, but I really like it. I don't mind because I literally, when I got clubbing, I haven't, uh, there's not much in my bag. The only thing in my bag is a phone purse and a lipstick. So it's not like a massive deal to me if people see my shift. And I also love the fact it's got this on you. So you know the chain isn't going to dig into you. So yeah. I did buy this because I do have a bodysuit this colour which I'll put into another haul. Because um, I'm really really behind on my videos at the moment. There we are. But I do literally have a bodysuit this exact colour. So I was like, that's kind of why the reason why I bought it. I mean, that bag also came with this cute little makeup bag inside, which I found really, really cute and handy too. So why it came with a, a white bag. And this and the bag was eight pound, which for the these two eight pound ain't too bad either. That's just how much a bag really is. So yeah, I really really like them. And then the last few things I got was in a gift shop. And that was, obviously I had to buy a snow globe, um, I can't remember how much this was actually. I really don't, um, I think it was like £3.50 to £4, which is kind of expensive for a snow globe, in my opinion. But I do love it, um, I feel so hard to find one like this, because all of them just said Ireland, and I like ones that say the actual city, not just the actual country. It was quite hard finding me the find one that actually just said Belfast and I finally managed to find one that did. So it's just like this. I I how it's got green glitter. I like that, that's different to all the rest of them. Because most of them are obviously because they're snow globes, they're like white little fluffy things in them. But the fact this is green glitter, just makes it a bit more unique and then turn around. It's like all like uh stuff around. So I just turn this around like this. So yeah, I like that. It's quite different to like the other ones and I like to have something different. 
and also I did buy a fridge magnet. Once again, this was quite hard as well to find one that said Belfast, which I find really weird because I just don't like ones that just say the country or like I'm to say the city. Because if I go back to that country for a different part of the country, it's like, do you know what I mean? I have bought some one when I've travelled around Wales. I bought, the, I literally have two. The one of them I do remember buying, I know one's from Tenby, but I got this other one that just says Cumberly Wales on it, and it's just like, I have no memory of where I got that one from, because it just says Wales on it. I'm just like, well, when Wales did I buy it? I don't remember. So now I can't really go back and buy a different one because I don't know where I got it from in the first place. I literally don't remember. But yeah, so, same with French magnets. I like them to have the actual city rather than just the actual country. So I got this one and it's obviously in like a clover and just a spell glass and has some little like landmarks. <laughs> my voice is going. Why is my voice going? What's happening? <coughs> okay, my voice just went. That was going again. It's gone. Bye. But yeah, I just got that. Uh, I think it's still once again like three to four pound. I don't remember. My memory is bad. Like seriously bad. And then the last thing I bought was a cute little um, bracelet. Obviously, I have to get a purple one because when don't I buy anything purple? I swear, if I see something purple, I'm like, I'm gonna buy it just because it's goddamn purple. So yeah, and it just has a little um, clover again. On that I love this because I do like the fact it's like you can adjust it to wherever you want so I've obviously adjusted it to the size I want it because when it's this size it can go on my hand quite difficulty which just means it's not going to come off and I can't be bothered to untie that and then retie it back in my hand so I've just done it in a way I can take it on and off not and me knowing it's not going to randomly fall off but yeah I think this was two three pound two pound fifty why don't I remember? I have wrote it on all my phone, but that's gonna use us because I'm using my phone to record. So that wasn't the smart thing to do, to be honest. But yeah, that is all the stuff I bought from Melfast. Um, probably could have bought, but I could have bought more in Primark, but um, I didn't have enough, to be honest. And there was this jacket I wanted in the Disney shop, and there was a stunning red leather jacket and I wanted it so badly um but I didn't get it probably I was broke now I kind of underestimated um so it's so weird because out there things are expensive which I was not expecting because it's obviously still in the UK it's still the same currency but everything out there is just a bit more expensive which I did find a bit weird so there's that <laughs> 